Hey Shalom, yeah, Shalom. Shalom. When it's off, it's always about giving all praise to Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rukhan Kadash. I double honors to the apostles of GMS and honors you brothers do the work of truth, uh, while sincerity. So I'm gonna go into something. Um, I uh, just gotta get Psalms 83, and then you know, whatever happens in the spirit happens. It says um, you 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 read it. Shall I read? You want me to? I'll read it for you. It says uh, keep uh, Psalms 83 from the top. It says keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. Mm -hmm. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, mm -hmm. and consulted against thy hidden ones. So who's the Lord's people? Scriptures talk about how Israel is the chosen people of the Lord. Okay, And that's, talk, that's pertaining to you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay, So what it's saying in that scripture is that we've got enemies. The chosen people of the Lord have got enemies, man. Okay? And they're coming, in, they're coming against us. Okay, go on. Yeah, uh, right verse 2. I'm reading it. It says, They have taken crafty counsel against our people, consulted against our hidden ones. They have said, uh, Come and let us cut them off from bringing a nation, mm -hmm. that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Come, in this captivity that we're in right now, okay, the last captivity, mm. pretty much, it's one of the worst captivities we've been through, man. Okay? In, in all the other captivities we've been through, we knew who we were. Okay, but in this captivity, we don't know, our, our people don't know who they are, man. They don't know that they're Israel, man. They don't know that they're the sons of the, um, of the living power, man. They don't know that. All they know is that, you know, they're, they'll go by their byword names, man. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, um, hey, or, you know, some examples, you know, you know, you got, the, you know, Hispanics will think that they're Hispanics. That's mm -hmm. why we call them, we say, the bywords, you know, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, what we're really, we're saying that for edification's sake, but... We're talking about the 12 tribes of Israel, man, okay? That's why we've got the 12 tribe sign, uh, which, you know, it's out there uh, when we're teaching the people. And when people walk past, they'll, they'll see their, their tribe yep. and they'll see their, their byword. And then they'll, because obviously they'll, what they'll do is they'll recognize the byword. And then they'll say, what does that mean? So then mm -hmm. we can start going into it and explaining to them that they're Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's how the edification yep. begins. Plus it also causes offense. Uh, you know, because people come Judah, but Judah is a so-called... Uh, you get that as well? Yeah. So it's double-edged, you know? Yeah. Uh, it says, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4, says, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine, uh, in mine, in mine anger which shall burn forever. Kind of, and that's what we're doing right now. We're serving our enemies, man. And one of our chief enemies right now is a so-called white man, okay? Mm. Who's uh, his biblical nation, his biblical lineage, nationality is is uh, Edomites, okay? From the man called Esau, from his lineage, man, that seed, yeah. right? And they they are they are um, our oppressors right now, man. Job nine and twenty four says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, and when you look into that, you go to Malachi one, it tells you that the borders of wickedness mm -hmm. are Edom, yep. okay? Yeah. And so right now, it's not. A, sorry, go on. I was saying, first Maccabees four to lamb, first Maccabees one to lamb back of what he's saying. Says Alexander's four generals uh, basically took over, and then wickedness was multiplied. Yeah, something to that effect, just to land up. Can't, and, and Alexander was from that same lineage. He was an Edomite yeah. as well, man. Okay, so we're right now the earth, and and no one can disrepute that the earth mm -hmm. has been given into the hands of the wicked. The so-called white man is living lavish on the earth right now, mm -hmm. man. Okay, he owns pretty much all the industries. He's got, he's, you know, he can get away, he, get, he gets the best lawyers, gets away scot-free in his own fucked up, judge, uh, you know, his own fucked up law system, okay? And he's doing all manner of wickedness upon the earth, man, okay? So that, that we can see but through looking at the prophecy in the scriptures and living and looking at, around you mm. that we are in, we're in, we're in the time of Esau's kingdom, okay? But, and so, so as we go back to the scripture... Okay, they take crafty counsel against our people, man, because we're the chosen people of the Lord. Mm -hmm. so, how, so if we're the chosen people of the Lord, but they're going out and saying that they're the chosen, they're going out and saying, for example, you've got the Malachites, so-called Jews, they're saying that they're the Jews, but they've been lying, man. The scriptures talk about it in Revelation 2, it says that they're the synagogue yeah. of Satan, the house of Satan. So if they're saying they're the chosen, and there's people out there that are the real chosen, they've got to keep that lie going. Yeah. And one way of doing that is to, to destroy Israel, man. Yeah. And that is what they're systematically trying to do. I've got, you got anything? I've got. Uh, there is a bit more. Can, this. can. Well, it says, for they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. And it's all the na en enemies of Israel, basically, in one consent against Israel. 
Right, and then like as to land back of what you were saying as well. So the tabernacles of Eden, right? This is the first nation that's mentioned, man. Right? The first nation that's mentioned. Yeah, we've so, got other enemies, the yeah, rest of the heathen. Yeah, it says, and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarenes, Gabar, yeah. Ammon, and Amalek. The Philistines were the inhabitants of Tari, and so on and so forth. Right? Yeah, right. that's the point on that. Okay, and, and it said in that scripture, they took crafty counsel against us, man. They're trying to destroy Israel, man. And I'm going to get the scripture. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 35. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, mm. and the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea when the waves thereof roar. Yahweh Shemiel Shai of hosts is his name. Mm. If those ordinances depart from before thee, before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus saith the Lord. So that's so the Lord's basically putting it out there saying, look. It's because it's it's it's, it's, a, it's not a question, but it's like mm. rhetorical. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. is that ain't really gonna happen because the ordinance is gonna keep going, man. Okay, so that means that the seed of Israel is not gonna be done away with, but on the contrary, the seed of Esau is gonna be completely wiped out, man. Yeah, yeah. pursuant to Obadiah one and eighteen. Yeah. So these guys that are going around acting like they're you know living lavish on the earth, trying to act like they're so pure and they're the, they're the righteous. Right, because why okay, he calls himself this, um, the white man, right, mm. or the white race of Caucasian, whatever, white, yeah, mm. and but white, the color white, is synonymous with uh, purity, purity yeah. you know. And that, and that's the question. You, I remember being in like year seven, year eight, which is what that's um, what how old we? That's what twelve, thirteen years old, mm. right? No, my friend was like, "Why is everything good white and everything bad black?" Mm. You know, in, in reference, because hey, because like you're saying. You know, they white represents purity, black is all just negative, right? And then that's what they we you know, you hear blackmail, you know, blacklist, black this, black that's all bad things. Well the only good thing that's uh, in, in the black is economics and you know JK in the black economics okay. <laughs> they're in the red. <laughs> that's right, man. Yeah. He goes on to say, Thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured, right? And the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith the Lord. That's why this guy has got a, a, a perpetual, um, he's got like a, well, I forgot the word, you know, a desire to, 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 to search the heavens, mm. you know, to go, you know, he will say to go where no man's gone before. Yeah. But, you know, there ain't no real proof that they've done that. They ain't done that, man. You've yeah. got the Van Allen radiation belts, man. You got all you got all manner of things out there that the Lord didn't set them up to do that, man. To go, on, you know, they want to. We're gonna to go to Mars and colonize it and all that. No, you're going into slavery, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're going into slavery. Yeah, hey, you, hey, let me let me let me get this real quick, but because sure, because another thing is, then you would have gone into the deep depths of the ocean. But as far as 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 is publicly available knowledge, you haven't even made, haven't even been able to do that because you can't handle the pressure. Yeah, right, literally. So you can't go above. You can't go below. Yeah. The only thing you can do is you can go into international space stations. Yeah, you can go into your right. dumps or deep underground bunkers. Bunkers, and, and you can chill there. But you know what? There's a scripture for that, man. We're gonna yeah, get that okay. later. I've already got that. <laughs> oh, you got it. Go yeah. on. Hey, did you wanna? No, 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 go on. It's Amos nine and two. Though they dig into hell, then show my hand to take them. Yeah. Though they climb up to heaven, then will I bring them down. And though they hide themselves on the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. Okay? And, and, and it's so basically, they're going to be going into the ISS. They're going to be going into uh, which you call the underwater uh, uh, layers and basins or whatever. Right? And they're going to be going into their dumps, their deep underground, was it missile bunkers or something like that? Yeah, well, underground bunkers, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From, yeah from, the, from to protect them from the World War Three. Yeah, but what they don't understand is, look, the Lord is 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 going to give His men spiritual power to manifest in your bunker, man. You'll be just there thinking, oh, yes, it's all the children of Israel. They're gone. They can't have survived that. But these times, you just, <laughs> you know, big six, seven, eight foot Jake. Just in the back of the room, saying, "Are you sure about that?" Ah! They're going to be. Well, they're going to be scared. To, yeah, slaps chains on them. They're going to be scared, you know. And that's what it says. It says in Ham. You know what? Let me get that as a precept. Uh, yeah. Let uh, yeah. Let me finish this. Uh. It says, and though they go into and though they go into captivity before their enemies, thence will I command the sword, and it shall slay them. And I'll set uh, mine eyes up 
up put upon them for evil and not for good. Yeah, so that's a point on that one. Yeah. It says Psalms 149 verse 7. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with cha with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Now, who that, who's that talking about? That's talking about all these elites. You know, you've got the international banking families. You've got certain royal families that are kind of under them. The top guys are the Rothschilds, man. You know, you've got the Rothschilds, you've got the Rockefellers, Oppenheim, Mr. you know, was it the Beers family or was that their company? You've got certain, yes. you've got certain families out there, right, which are, you know, the nation of Eden. Which are basically, they're running, they're ruling the world right now. They're the wicked, they're the secret council, okay? And those are the ones that are going to be basically, those are the first ones that are going to go into slavery, man. They're going to get them, it's, as, as it says, because they're the kings on the earth right now, right? Where it says to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. You know, so what does that mean? That means we're going to slap chains on them, mm. man. And would you, when you when you got chains on your hands, what does that mean? That means you're done. Yeah. That means you're in subjection. Yeah. It says to execute upon them the judgment written, this mm. honor have all these saints. Praise ye Yahweh mm. Shmuel Shai. That's why we praise Yahweh Shmuel Shai because yeah. the Lord well, had it where patience and the faith of the saints. That's right, man. Because hey, th these guys they're gonna get destroyed. That's what it says in the scriptures. It's prophecy. It's inevitable. <laughs> you know. So it's just a matter of time. We're just we're just waiting it out, man. Waiting for the Lord to come save us, man. And what's he saving us from? He's saving us from our enemies. Mm. And he's also saving us from these from these vile bodies, yeah. man. Go on, please, sir. So Ezekiel 39, 14 says, And they shall sever out men of continual employment. Right? It says, Passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain upon the face of the earth. To cleanse it. Mm. After the end of seven months shall they search. So base, hey, man, there's going to be a lot. You read 2 Nezra 16, talks about, how the dead shall be cast out as dung, mm. right? So there's going to be a hell of a load of dead bodies. I ain't cleaning them up. We ain't cleaning them up, right? It is not saying going to be done. That's 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 that, that's going to be your, you know the first task that these heathens are going to have to do, man. You know you, that's something you get your slaves to do. Mm. Like you think the Rothschilds see, you know, see it after they've finished committing some wickedness. Right, they just, you know, cut someone up or whatever. Hey, they don't always say, oh, slave, servant, whatever, get rid of that body, man. No, and that's what's going to happen. You, you, you lot are just going to be going around um, uh, cleaning up them dead bodies, man. Yeah. His brothers usually say when that scripture is read out, ain't going to be no unemployment in the kingdom. <laughs> Done on that? Yeah, yeah. All right, this is um, Revelation chapter 13, verse, I'll start from 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Mm. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And the saints are talking about Israel, but particularly in this time period, we're talking about the elect of Israel. Because only the, a small remnant of Israel are going to be saved, man. Okay? But it said, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's the judgment. So they led our people into hardcore slavery or captivity. Okay? We're going to put them into slavery, man. Continual employment. Employment and slavery, man. Okay, but it ain't going to be like, they're going to come in, they're going to clock into work, you know, get their hours, some sick pay. <laughs> you know, it ain't going to be like that, man. It's going to be hardcore, man. Okay, you're going to get beat every day, you know, except for the Sabbath, you know. But you're going to get beat up every day, man. Every day we're going to let you, let you know how much of a piece of shit you are, man. You know, we're going to take all that, all that pent-up anger that we had, all that, all that, we're going to take it all out on you, man. Okay. And we're gonna, because we're going to have you in subjection. Yeah. We're going to let you know who the, who the chosen of the Lord Lord is, man. Yeah. You know. And it says, "He that killeth with the sword, who's got who had the blessing of the sword? The blessing of the sword. Because mm. if you read Revelation six and four, it says he, he that took peace on the earth, right? Mm. Talking about the red horse, and that's talking about Esau, man. Okay. That's talking about Esau because Esau got the blessing of the sword. That's how he was going to rule. Mm. You know. And that, and the funny thing is, that sword, that blessing of the sword. You know, the Lord had it set up where he was basically the Lord's sword, man. Yeah. You know, to basically, you know, to punish us. Because we went off against the Lord's statutes, commandments, and, and, you know, his ways, basically, man. You know, and that we're serving our punishment under 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 these guys right now. You know? Yeah, I've got a piece up. Right. It says, Revelations 2.25 says, But that which you have already, hold fast till I come. Right? It says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations, right? So what 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 do we have already? This truth, well, those that stay in the truth, stay in the faith, right? You know what what, what, what would you call it? What, what's what's the reward? 
And I said, he, uh, he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power of the nations. And then do what with that power? Right? It says, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. That's right. right? As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, <laughs> even as I received of my father. Right? So you basically are going to be, you know, bashing them upside the head. And you're going to have this set to just whack, you know. Go on, this is um, James chapter 5, right? Verse. I'll start from. I'll start from uh, 4. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of. Because if you read. Actually, I'll just read it from verse 1 quickly. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Okay, so because these guys, mm. you know, like the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers is an example. They live in great on earth, man. Mm. They're the, you know, they so you know they got all the riches, they got all the resources, okay, all the gold and all that, and they give out the crumbs to everyone else. They living like they live basically living like kings. They are kings on the earth right now, mm. man. You know, it says your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. And you shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. And you know what? That all that treasure is going to be transferred. Because wealth is transferred, it's going to be transferred over to us, man. Okay, we're going to own all the land and all the resources, you know. It says, um, I'll jump down to verse 5. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he doth not resist you. That's talking about us, man. Okay. It says, be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord, Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. So, and we've got to wait upon the Lord. Mm. We've got to lay up, wait upon Yahushai. Okay, he's the one that's going to rise to the prayer as it says in Zephaniah. Because you can't come against, uh, you can't come against Esau that's been blessed with a sword. Mm. That's his blessing. That's his blessing. Mm. Okay, you got to wait upon who? You've got to wait upon the Lord, yeah. Yahushai, to come and re return yeah. and basically... Break our enemies asunder, yeah. man. Plus, yeah, this is all about, um, you know, uh, uh, which all about giving praise and glory to the Most High, mm -hmm. right? If I can get this real quick, uh, just to back up that statement, it says um, Ezekiel ooh, no, that's not right. thirty-six and twenty-one says, "But I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whether they went, right." Says uh, and and you see Jake doing that right now. Hey, like we said, you'll be at camp, man. You see Jake, and you just look at his, you know bones. And you did this last week, man. It's like, can these bones live? Mm. Right, as in as as it said, and as it well, the next chapter actually is Ezekiel thirty-seven. Well, because you see Jake, Jake right now through, uh, which is why it's going to be uh, you know the strain of his of his salvation. One of those weeks, because like these are the men of the Lord. Yeah, even in Wisdom Five, it says um. Uh, you know, we, you know, we thought his life madness and to his end to be without honor, right? And that you know that, and people are saying, is this the, is the children of the Lord? We're out there with the sign saying, you know, the uh, which called the the so called um, I mean, not the so called the so called black man is the tribe of Jew, rather the Negro in America in mass is is the tribe of Jew. They're saying, but they're over there in Chicago killing themselves. What do you mean they're the name of the Lord, the children of the Lord, right? It says, uh, therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord power, I do not this for your sake, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whether ye went. Right? And, and that's the point I'm trying to establish, because it's the Lord that is saving the children of Israel of his own mercy. Right? If, if Jake were to be able to, you know, get swords and fight Esau, Right, you know Jake is just going to take credit for it, man. And the Lord's done that in the scriptures with the story of Gideon. Yeah. Right? It was like, you know, it, it started off with a large number, ended up with like 300, 300 men, if I'm not mistaken. Why? Because the Lord's like, look, man, if it's two, if it's all of you, you know, are just going to take credit for it. But it's all about the Lord. You know, by Shem Yashai taking credit. Right? That's why we've got to wait for him to do it. That's right. Right? Uh, uh, that, that was the point. You got anything? No, that's it. Yeah. Pretty much, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'll go on uh, on on the statement you made. Uh, what do you call it earlier on? Uh, it says Psalm seventy three and three says, "For I was envious of the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked." Well, like, because wicked in this kingdom are prospering, man. Mm. You know, I was something like Oxford. Um, 
of Virginia released something a couple of years ago, but he's saying if you want to prosper in this kingdom, you got to be a good liar, right? Yeah. You know, you see certain things about certain way Jake deals in business, and you just like that's why that's why Jake can't prosper. Right, you, I remember it was just at a, at a, it was a chain restaurant or anything, but you know, they still, um, uh, what's that thing called? They're a franchise, so they still got to make money on their own, right? But this guy was giving away free meals to some homeless guys, right? But that's, that's going to be taking in, kicking in his, into his revenue, right? It's going to be kicking in into his profits, rather, right? Because Jake is too compassionate. If it say, look, man, you're going to have to fuck these people over to make a profit. Jake is like, I'm really trying to fuck them over. Until they get deep into the world. That's when they're like, you know, fuck these people anyway. Right? They'll say, you've got to be hella off to just prosper in this kingdom. I'll uh, carry on. It says, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men. Mm -hmm. Neither are they plagued as other men. They don't. Hey. Edomites will lose their job and go on holiday. Well, I've witnessed that on a number of occasions. They, they, they won't have a job and then they're going to dip off somewhere. Whereas, and even then, right, let's say they didn't have a, a job to come back to, they've still got that daddy money fallback. One of the guys I work with is two year old, has more money in the bank than I do. Mm. Right, and that's just the nature of these, uh, you know, how, how, these, uh, how these guys live. Uh, goes on to say neither of the players on the men says therefore pride compasses them about as a chain violence covers them as a gun right they're, they're so proud man they're hella proud because they don't know what it is like to have to struggle and work for anything I mean they don't take they don't they take everything for granted right which is why it's going to be such a beautiful thing when everything gets taken away from them right they've gone from literally having a silver spoon in their mouth right to not having anything in their mouth, you know, no food to eat, just the dust. You know, you're try, trying to eat dust for 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 whatever nutrients is in there. Okay, good on you. This is uh, Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse twelve. How art thou fallen from heaven, mm. O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst the weaken the nations? Okay, and Lucifer meaning you know light bearer, and right now the light bearer is is, is the wicked man. Okay, right now, well, the true light bearer is really the man of the Lord, okay? Because Yahweh Shai is the ultimate light bearer, and he gives us that light. But right now, these guys have got all the, you know, they've gathered all the knowledge, all the things, and they've kept it hidden, man. They've got that so-called light. That's why they call themselves the Illuminati, as an example, right? But it says, it says, How art thou cut down to the ground, which did us weaken the nations? And that's what Esau's been doing, man. He's been playing different nations against nations. He's been weakening pretty much everyone, man. And he's been reaping all the benefits, taking all the land, all the resources, and trying to live. It's going to go and say how they've been trying to live, man. Right? It says, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. And that's what he wants to do. Okay? He wants to chip everybody. He basically wants to be in complete control. And he wants to be, he wants to try and be like the most high. That's, that's his pride, thinking that he can actually achieve that, okay? But hey, the scriptures condemn him, man. The scriptures say he ain't going to make it, man. Mm. In the fullness of his sufficiency, just when, and that's the best thing, just when he thinks he's going to make it, mm. the Lord's going to show him, look, man, you know, <laughs> pride goeth before a fool. It says, um, it says, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee, shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, is this the man that mm. made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, the man that grabbed the atomic bomb, it was threatening, dropping atomic bombs, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, yeah, yeah, yeah. was this the man that was walking around untouchable? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I, don't, I can't remember, I don't remember who it was that said it, it might have been um, an apostle, we are talking about, you, Rothschild can go and shoot someone in the street, and you know, yeah, yeah, nothing yeah, will happen to him, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> and well, yeah, I can believe that because, these guys well, are. They are the police. They are the police. Yeah. They own. They own the police. Yeah, they, own sorry, they own the police. So. They live in as kings upon the earth, man. They're untouchable, man. You know. But hey, they're gonna get touched real soon, man. The Lord's gonna yeah. show them that fire. They're gonna be. They're gonna. Well, Jimmy Savile wasn't even high up then. They they say he had keys to hospitals, man. So you can. Uh, either they like, they've got to got to put the disclaimer out there. Mm -hmm. You know it is. You know they they ain't proof. But me, man, hey, read the garden. It says man was into necrophilia, man. Mm -hmm. 
run out in in the UK as a rep, a reputable uh, news source. Yeah, and like, he was sorry. sorry. You know, we're saying and talk about how he was given keys to hospitals and all of that, going into mental 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 institutions and all of that. How, how are you going to just give any random individual yeah. keys to hospital? They knew what he was on. Yeah, and he was said he came out in a TV show. I remember seeing a clip. He came out. Yeah, yeah, he came yeah. out and said. He said it in a joking way, but he was being serious. Everyone thought he was joking and they mm-hmm. laughed because it's one of them, you know, comedy panel shows. And he was just like, I'm feeling every every girl's school down the country. Yeah. That's what he said. You know, the guy's a pe- he came out, he's a pedophile, man. Yeah. But he did that off just what before he you yeah. know, was dead, man. Yeah, the BBC knew. Everyone knew. There's one there's one clip of him where he's fondling a girl. Literally on live TV. Yeah, on live TV, yeah. And inst- instead of all they do is just zoom in zoom so in, you yeah. can't see the woman behind all fidgeting and yeah. they knew. Yeah. It says, it says that uh, the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms. They're going to look at him now. Like, is this, this is the guy? He's mm-hmm. the guy that put us through all that? It says, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, yeah. that opened up the house of his prisoners. All the kings of the... Uh, yeah, that's it. Well, that's, that's it on that, man. You know? Basically, hey, he didn't open the house of his prisoners, man. Just like um, the pharaoh of old time. You know, he was hard-headed. Moses was telling him, look, you know, let my people go, basically, you know. you know, But he wasn't hearing that, man. Mm-hmm. Lord put the plagues on it. Then eventually, we got out of there in a miraculous way. Mm-hmm. And in the same fashion that we left Egypt, we're going to leave, you know, uh, you got over there in Babylon, modern-day Egypt, same way it's going to be done there, man. And all around, the elect are going to be, be beamed up into the chariots, which are the so-called UFOs, all around the world. Yeah. And that's going to be a strange sight to everyone, man, yeah, as yeah. it says in Wisdom and yeah. Wisdom 5. A viewing of that is on that film, Knowing. Well, though they were, they were going hella off on so many things, mm. well, but you see, you, you see, he says, he says, I want to come to, or was it Nicholas Cage's curse? I want to come to. Then the angels like, only the only the children can come, mm. and you're like, children? What do you mean? You mean the children of Israel? That's right, right? And you see them being beamed up just before the um, what do you call it? Just before the 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 fire comes, but they had it as a solar fire, but we know it's going to be a nuclear fire, man. Right, and then they get landed off into a new heaven. So they butchered that. So I ain't seen that. I ain't seen that. <laughs> yeah. I ain't to watch that. Yeah. You know, you got anything? Nah. Oh. Hey, man. Hey. You know, with that, hey, you know, all praise to you, Bashmir, Shah. That's been edifying. And quick hit, man. You know, Shalom. Shalom.